So we've been through the routine blood test already, check out those videos if you haven't seen them already, but it's now time to delve into the next set of common blood biomarkers, the amazing world of hormones. These are things that can affect your heart health, your stress, your metabolism, your libido, your sporting performance, your mental health, and so much more. Let me give you a general overview of hormones before we then go into more detail about the most common ones. Hormones are messenger molecules. They're defined as chemicals that are released in one part of your body and have an effect somewhere else. It's not easy to be more specific than that because there are so many of them and they're so different in what they do. How many are there? Well, probably more than you think. We know of at least 75 of them and more of them are being discovered every year. Now, some are fats, some are proteins, some are vitamins, and some are even gases. And that's why we have to be vague about their definition. And with that in mind, let me vague things up even more for you by telling you what they do. Well, a better question is, what don't they do? To name a few, they're involved in your metabolism, your sleep cycle, your sex drive, uh, cravings, puberty, menopause, aging, so much more. And in an ideal world, your hormones are working visibly, you know, maintained in a constant cycle of feedback, which means that nothing goes too high and nothing goes too low. Most hormones are produced in hormone glands called endocrine glands. That includes things like your thyroid in your neck, your pituitary gland in your brain, or your testes or your ovaries down there. We test them because unfortunately for some people, the hormone system can break down. And when that happens, you might have issues. Sometimes these are minor things that you might not even know about. Other times the effects can be profound. I mean, check out this guy. I mean, this is Robert Wadlow. His pea-sized tumor in his pituitary gland would not stop him producing growth hormone. And as a result, he was nine foot tall by the time he died. Now, most people won't turn into a giant, but if you're aware of what your hormones do, then you might be able to get a bit suspicious when something doesn't feel right. Maybe then you might want to do a blood test that could maybe rule it in or rule it out. So in this series, I'm going to break down all of those hormones and their blood tests for you. So stay tuned and do subscribe if you want to see them. You can even ring the bell if you're super keen. Uh, subscribing really, really helps and it keeps me doing this. So if you're not subscribed, like 96% of you, please do consider subscribing. Thanks a lot. Stay healthy. See you next time. Bye.